world has already got that distinctive place lying in the shade. So it sort of leave you a bit more camouflaged. You can see in typical cheetah fashion, looking around, surveying the area. It's amazing how fast these animals fast they digest. The stomach is already a lot smaller than it was yesterday afternoon or last evening even. Just eaten during the course of the day yesterday. It was huge, looked like a little barrel. One of the other characteristics of course of a cheetah, one of the easy ID features is that face. Those black tear marks. Roll around a little bit there for a second. A couple of different possibilities. Look at those tear marks now, beautiful. Partly, one of the earlier things we used to always read is that it helps a little bit for bright light, a bit of glare reduction, which of course I'm sure it helps a bit. It's, most of the benefit I think is in the, and again it's been you know, suggested in studies and research as well, is that it's in the facial expression. If this animal is trying to threaten something, snarling at it, showing the teeth, those black marks just make it more obvious, make it more menacing almost. Beautiful cat, such a beautiful cat. And of course the reason it's looking around all the time, especially for cheetahs, is maybe for something to hunt, but uh, the majority of the time, or the main reason why they're very alert is that they don't want to get surprised, they don't want to have a leopard sneak up on them or a lion sneak up on them. All those other predators, leopard, lion, hyena, even wild dogs, are all more dominant than cheetah in the, in the hierarchy of predators. to look at this one in detail but <coughs> Jerry's just asking how to identify or how to distinguish differences and the same as other cats the most sort of foolproof way as if we were researching it one of the ways we would look at it is the whisker spots and you know, basically what that means is if you look at most cats up close and you look at the, the physical whisker markings you can see it a bit Try and get my binoculars so I can see it as well as you can. <laughs> if you look at the whiskers, but sorry, maybe just the, the sh first answer why we can know that it's the same cheetah as yesterday, apart from it still being around the same area and being the same size as quite a big cheetah, is that full belly. So those things make it easy to distinguish this cheetah as the same as yesterday. But if we see this cheetah again in future, which hopefully start happening. Be very carefully look for certain marks around the, the mouth area. Or if you can find some distinguishing spot, just try and find a marking that's quite sort of clearly individual somewhere on the face. And then just use that as a reference point in, in future times. A specific male maybe now when you when you look when he looks down again and you can see the side of his face. It's got quite a clear scar just above the nose on the right hand side. That would be something that at least for the next three, four months will be clearly visible. Big male like this, they will have to occasionally battle for dominance, they're territorial animals. is not urgent. It doesn't hunt in the next two or three days even. 
four days even, five days even, it'll still be fine. So it's not a sort of a major priority for this cheetah to go and find food at the moment. And it's got a good area. It's nice and open, nice and clear. There's some shade here. Perfect place for a cheetah maybe to, to spend a part of the day. But we'll move on somewhere during the course of the day. Maybe even in the next few minutes.